بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم dear students i hope you all will be fine and very happy class 9 subject chemistry chapter 3 page 66 and the topic which i am going to discuss is modern periodic table modern periodic table in the 1930 an english physicist whose name was jeffrey mosley put forward the modern periodic table in 1930 an english physicist whose name was jeffrey mosley put forward the modern periodic table which is based on the atomic number of the elements based on the atomic number of the elements it means that in the modern periodic table the elements are arranged on the basis of their increasing atomic numbers in the modern periodic table elements are arranged on the basis of their increasing atomic number for example if we talk about the period number second which contains elements such as lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon Period number second: lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. It contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements. So you can see the atomic number of lithium is three, beryllium is four, boron five, carbon six, nitrogen seven, oxygen eight, fluorine nine, and neon ten. So there is a continuous increase occur in the atomic number of the elements as we move from left to right in the periodic table. The atomic number of lithium is three, so it is placed before the beryllium. The atomic number of beryllium is four, so it is placed before the boron. The atomic number of carbon is six, so it is placed before the nitrogen. The atomic number of oxygen is eight, so it is placed before the fluorine. And the atomic number of fluorine is 9 so it is placed before the neon so in the modern periodic table elements are arranged on the basis of their increasing atomic number as we move from left to right in the periodic table so there an increase occur in the atomic number of the elements beside this there is a law which is known as modern periodic law beside this there is a law which is known as modern periodic law which states that the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic numbers modern periodic law states that the physical and chemical properties of the elements depend upon the atomic number of the elements i have already told you that the modern periodic law is modern periodic table is based on the atomic number of the elements modern periodic table is based on the atomic number of the elements so in simple words this law means that the physical and chemical properties of the elements depend upon the atomic number of the elements physical and chemical properties of the elements depend upon the atomic number of the elements physical and chemical properties of the elements depend upon the atomic number of the elements because modern periodic table is based on the atomic number of the elements there is a word periodic function periodic functions the word periodic is derived from period which means repetition after a regular interval periodic function the word periodic is derived from period which means regular interval repetition after a regular interval so periodic function means those functions which repeats after a regular interval after a certain interval are called periodic functions those functions which repeats after a regular interval which repeats after a regular interval are called periodic function for example if we take the example of atomic size period number 3 contains elements sodium magnesium aluminum silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine argon and period fourth contains potassium so you can see the atomic size of sodium is very large sodium has a very large atomic size 
But as we move from left to right, from, from sodium to magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon. So there a decrease occur in the atomic number. There a decrease occur in the atomic size of the elements. As we move from left to right, from sodium towards magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon. So there a decrease occur in the atomic size of the elements. Sodium has a very large atomic size, but we need, but we move from sodium towards the argon. There a decrease occur in the atomic size of the elements. But from argon, if we move towards the potassium, so potassium again has a very large size. Potassium again has a very large size. So you can see that the Size, atomic size of sodium is large and this property repeats after a regular interval. Potassium again has a very large size and this is an example of periodic function. Atomic size is an example of the periodic function. There the sodium has a large atomic size but we move from left to right the atomic size decreases. But as we come from argon towards the potassium, so the atomic size of potassium again has a very large atomic size and this property repeats this property atomic size from argon as we move towards the potassium, so potassium again has a very large size. Sodium has a very large size and potassium again has a very large size. The property of atomic size, the increase in the atomic size occurs again and this is an example of the periodic functions. This is an example of the periodic functions. Dear students, in the simplified form, in the simplified form, modern periodic table is divided into seven periods and eight groups. In the simplified form, modern periodic table is divided into seven periods and eight groups. There are seven periods and eight groups in the modern periodic table in the simplified form in the simplified form modern periodic table is divided Modern, in the simplified form, modern period table is divided into seven periods and eight groups. There are seven periods and eight groups in the modern periodic table. So the horizontal rows in the modern periodic table are called periods. The horizontal rows. In the modern periodic table, are called periods, and there are seven periods in the modern periodic table. Seven periods in Now groups, the vertical columns in the modern periodic table are called groups. There are eight groups in the modern periodic table. Dear students, in simplified form, modern periodic table is divided into seven periods and eight groups. The horizontal rows in the modern periodic table are called periods. The horizontal rows from as we move from left to right, so the horizontal rows in the modern periodic table are called 
periods and there are seven periods in the modern periodic table and the vertical columns the vertical columns in the from top to bottom from top to bottom the vertical columns in the modern periodic table are known as groups and there are eight groups in the modern periodic table so it is enough for today in this next lecture we will discuss the periods and groups in the modern periodic table in detail inshallah wassalam اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما